And breaking it, six sources telling WFAA Beto O'Rourke is taking new steps toward announcing a run for the presidency. Good evening. I'm John McKay. And I'm Cynthia Isaguirre. Our senior political reporter, Jason Whiteley, is here with all that new information tonight, Jason. Well, you know, uh, John and Cynthia, he said all along he was going to make a decision by the end of the month. And tonight, multiple sources are telling us that Beto O'Rourke is going to run for president. But his supporters, though, will have to wait a little longer to actually hear it from him. Here's what his campaign said. Amy and I have made a decision about how we can best serve our country. We are excited to share it with everyone soon, he said. Why is he waiting and when exactly might he announce? The answer to both of those questions remains uncertain right now, but this will certainly create a political buzz that his campaign no doubt wants. A couple of weeks ago, Beto rallied several thousand people right here on your screen in El Paso against extending the border wall that President Trump wants. O'Rourke has traveled to the Midwest in recent weeks as well on a listening tour, he has called it. But some are asking if Beto could not win a Senate race against Ted Cruz last November right here in his own state. Does he really have a shot at the presidency? O'Rourke is a dy dynamic fundraiser. One poll showed him as the second best fundraiser in the Democratic field, only behind Bernie Sanders. And so the big question tonight, one thing is for sure, when he makes his announcement, he will enter a widening field of Democratic candidates running for president. Remember, he is the second Texan. He will be the second Texan running for president. Former Housing and Urban Development Secretary Julian Castro is already in the race. Bottom line tonight, sources are telling us Beto O'Rourke will run for president. Back to you guys. All right. Thanks a lot, Jason. Appreciate that.